Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's going to be just a little bit different. I'm going to introduce a new car to you. Uh, this is one that I've, I've wanted for years and finally was able to pick one up. Um, but I also want to talk about a new direction for the station. Um, I haven't really been happy with the direction for a while now. When I first started this, it was to help people. It, it wasn't to be a car channel, and it's just kind of evolved into a car channel. But the more that I look on Facebook, social media in general, and you see all of the negativity in the world, you see the, the bullying online, you see all of the crap out there, it made me realize that this channel was meant to help people, and that's what I want to do. You know, I want to try to help people be better men, be better women, just better people in general. And the quote that came to my mind was one that my mom used to preach forever. I mean, growing up, it, it was her phrase. Everybody at the church, everybody that hung out of the house, they all knew that mom's saying was play nice. And that's exactly what this world needs to do is play nice. I don't get into politics because it never helps anybody. It never changes minds. All it really does is piss people off. So I don't feel that that's a direction that anybody should really go. But I do want to remind people to play nice. Um, when, you're, when you're online and you see something you don't agree with, it is okay to scroll by. We don't have to get on there and, and literally attack people, which is what I see a lot of. And, you know, it, it really bothers me. It gets to the point where you just don't even want to be on any social media. But as a business owner, that's something that, that's very important to my business. I, I need it, but I don't need the, the toxic nature that it has. And so that's why I have decided that we're still going to talk about cars because that's something I love. But I'm going to do more content around being nice and playing kind and uh, you know just things I see and, and we're going to talk about that hopefully we get some interaction with that I know that a lot of times it's not you know the type of stuff that anybody wants to to really look at but with my following base because of my Corvette videos it seems like my followers are a little older so you guys are an older generation and I, I think that you'll appreciate this content because it's something that you guys were raised with that this new generation just doesn't have. So I just want to take a minute and, and tell you guys that, that that is the plan for the channel. That, that's the direction we're going to go in, but we will talk, talk about toys and cars. So I'm going to get stopped here. Uh, I just drove up town here. I'm going to get stopped and we're going to do a walk around and I'm going to show you the new car guys so here she is and uh, it is a 1967 this one's a Bel Air but the goal is to build a supernatural tribute car now this one is a post car it's not a hard top like on the show and the biggest reason for that the hard tops a rusted piece of junk is gonna cost you 15 20 thousand I have nowhere near that in this one and it's a run and drive a car. I actually bought it, drove it our home. The body on this thing is actually really, really straight. And if we look down the side here, this is an original car and it is in good shape. So I've already got the, uh, the wheels that are gonna go on it. Interior will be gutted and painted the buckskin. This is pretty much the only bad spot on the car. Um, that's where I was told the original owner actually ran into her garage, taking it in. Uh, but you can see the inside of this car. And I mean, this is the original interior to my knowledge. And I mean, it is just excellent, excellent shape. You know, all your body lines, your doors closed. I mean, it, it's, it, it's a diamond in the rough here. A little bit of paint fade here, a little peeling there, but that the car is 55 years old. Now what did it for me is that front end right there. 
How do you not love that front end every time you look at it? So that is the plan. Now let's let's fire her up and hear it run. Purrs like a kitten. This is the 283. Eventually, I'd like to do a 327 in it. But for now, the 283 is going to work. It's got the two speed power glide. It's not as disappointing as you would think it would be. Um, I, I was really worried about the, you know, the power of the car. But it goes down the interstate 6570 with no issues. Now, one of the other things that was was a big thing for me was this car is very, very rust-free compared to a lot of them. Even when you look in the trunk, I mean, we've got a little bit of surface rust, but for the most car, most part, this car is extremely, extremely solid. So, big shout out to Jimmy at Supernatural Rides. That's where this car come from. If you guys don't know Jimmy, he is a local guy. He's big in the Supernatural world. And uh, he builds show cars. And this was one that he bought. And uh, he bought it to sell it. But he actually thought about building this car to be a tribute car. And I'm extremely happy with it. And I uh, can't wait to get started. We'll keep you up to date on the progress on this one. Talk to you guys later.